good day and welcome to today's construction class my name is Oluwa Tunbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. The figure below shows a cone and a cylinder intersecting at right angle. Draw the number one plan, two curve of intersection, three surface development of the cylinder, making line A B the same. Right, so uh, to tackle this problem, let's produce the plan. To produce the plan, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to produce, uh, yeah, before we can actually produce the plan, we need to actually produce that given view. That is the first procedure. I'm going to do that now. So I'm producing uh, a thin horizontal line across my paper. Okay, so the diameter of that base is diameter 90. Diameter 90. So with my compass, Wow, 90 is kind of big. So I'm producing this drawing on the scale of 1 ratio 2. On the scale of 1 ratio 2. So which means I'm going to divide every dimension there by what? By 2. By 2. So that diameter 90 is going to turn to diameter what? Diameter 45. So with 45 right here. So I'm going to stand uh, in this place. Okay. I'm going to produce this. And come in here, I would I produce this all over. Okay, so I'm having that right here. So uh let me bisect that okay, bisecting that I'm having this. So I have a faint vertical line at the middle there. So the height, which is 100 divided by 2, that's going to be height of 50. So this is the height of what? Of 50. So I'm going to draw it faintly and what? And faintly, right? So I'm having that faintly, faintly like that. Okay. So this, yeah, towards my right hand side, I'm having a height, a height of 42. 42 divided by 2, that's what? 24. 24 with 24 i mark okay i'm having this that's mark 24 that mark 24 i'm going to project that horizontally like this okay so we are told that the diameter of the cylinder there is diameter 45 diameter 45 divided by 2 that's going to be diameter 22.5 diameter 22.5 and 22.5 uh divided by 2 is going to be 11.25 11.25 okay so how do we do that how do we do that with my ruler and my compass let me just uh try and fix something out here okay so with 11.25 sorry for uh the shake standing right here i'm having this and what and this so i'm going to project both points outwards like this horizontally and like this Okay, and I told you that the length is what 25. 25 divided by 2 is what 22.5 towards what left hand side. So with length 22.5, which is this, I would I project this like this. Yeah, I'm going to project this. So I'm having this. Okay, as displayed on the screen, and I'm having this right here. This right here, the whole of this all the way to the bottom. Having this, this, and this. Okay, so that is the production of that view. Yeah. So next is what is the plan. So to get the plan uh, from this base, I'm taking the mark of ten. Okay, and I'm of 10. I'm projecting that horizontally like this. Horizontally like that. Okay. So then I'm going to what, pick my compass. Okay, from here to here. That's my radius. So coming right here, I would I mark this out. Okay. Then from this midpoint, I would I produce my plan. Okay, let's make it faintly first of all. Let's make it faintly first of all. So I'm producing a horizontal line right there. 
across like this then with my compass also i'm coming right here i'm picking this radius as you can see on the screen picking that radius right there coming here replicating it here and what and here and what i'm going to bring it out like this also faintly faintly all right then i'm drawing this yeah projecting this downward here yeah. so i'm having this like this right here okay yeah let's taking it up to this level for a start for a start all right so what's the next procedure now so i'm going to actually uh produce a semicircle right here like this so as if i'm dividing it into six equal parts right here okay right here right here and right there so i'm doing the same thing on my plan also like this so then the same thing also like that right there right there and right here okay so each of those points we projected uh this horizontally like this like this this area over there this like this this like this and this right there okay so likewise also this like this this like this this one right here this one right here okay so let's extend this and so my numbering I'm going to make this mark theory two one zero one two and what and three so which means this will be what theory two one zero two one and what zero so take notes take notes take notes so let's start from mark three at the bottom okay let's start from mark three at the bottom so to start from mark three at the bottom i'm going to pick my set square from this three at the bottom right here okay i'm going to project the vertical line downward as you can see on the screen so for my mark three this is it so this way is touchy so i'm going to pick my compass from the center of this circle okay so this mark three right here i want i produce a circle faintly a circle faintly so wherever that circle touches mark three so this way it touches my mark three okay that way it touches it so yeah this three so this area is what mark two two at the bottom let's draw it from here so my mark two at the bottom this is it from here so i project that mark downward so this is it here i take my compass from the midpoint to that vertical line of mark two that's it so i produce a circle faintly with that radius okay so this way it touches my mark two on this plane it touches my mark two right here and where and right here so take note of those areas okay so this area is my mark one at the bottom i project it vertically downward faintly also faintly so with my compass from the center to where to the line of vertical one you see that radius i want i draw my circle faintly also faintly so this way it touches my mark one it touches my mark one right here and where right here so take note of those junctions okay then my mark zero my mark zero vertically downward i'm having this okay so with my compass from the center to the vertical line of mark zero which is this i what i draw faintly faintly so my mark zero which is what absolutely 
right here and uh, write for max zero right there and right here okay so those are the junctions here so then for my mark one at the top i'm projecting that vertically then what faintly okay so that is it with my compass i'm drawing the circle faintly for that to mark one okay so there does it touches mark one yeah this to one it touches one right here and here and right here so take notes so for mark two drain it faintly downward so my compass to where it touches mark for the vertical line of mark two i would i draw myself faintly for mark two right it touches my mark two right here and right here okay then my mark one at the top this is the last point there i would i draw downward so with my compass to that junction which is this i would i draw this circle so this is where it touches my mark oh sorry i said my mark no, sorry my mark three my mark three that's what i draw now so where does this circle touch my mark three touch my mark three right here so having that point i'm going to use my french curve to join each of these points all together okay so uh considering the curves okay yeah from this mark theory at the top to the center here to the midpoint here which is zero so which is this to zero here it is going to be what is going to be visible while from zero to mark theory at the bottom which is this area down here it is going to be what it is going to be hidden because it is what it is under it's going to be hidden so i'm going to do that now all right with my french curve all right so this cylinder is going to be thick all the way here okay and this one is going to be thick all the way here so now our cone our cone yeah is going to be yeah the will of this area will be what will be hidden okay as you can see me doing it on this going to be what hidden why the will of this board visible up to this level this will be what visible up to this level here up to this level here why the inside here will be what will be hidden as displayed on the screen right there okay okay so uh the next thing is uh to produce the curve of intersection the curve of intersection so to produce my curve of intersection right here so this is my mark three here okay that's my mark three right there so I'm going to project this mark three here. That's three for the bottom. Yeah, which is this. Okay, three for the bottom, which is this. So that one is set to. So the next two points, this and this is mark two for the bottom. Two at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to project them upwards faintly. Mark two at the bottom, which is this. So the next one, this is mark what? Mark one at the bottom so i'm going to project that also mark one at the bottom which is this okay then i'm having my what my uh zero so a zero is obviously this okay then followed by my mark um one at the top mark one at the top which is this so we need to project that upwards also mark one at the top which is this then mark two at the top which is obviously this then mark three at the top which is what obviously this okay so with my french curve i'm going to what pull out this curve also with my french curve okay so that is the interpenetration curve for the what for the elevation right there that is the interpenetration curve for the what for the elevation right there okay so we have our plan the elevation so the third option there says what we should produce the surface development of the cylinder this is the cylinder okay making a b as the same surface development of this cylinder making a b as the same 
so uh to do that to do that all we are actually going to do is i'm going to just produce my cylinder right here okay so i'm extending this line like this as you can see all right so yeah this point extending that okay this point i'm extending that this point i'm extending that mark o i'm not uh, extending that okay this all right that was my, this is my mark oh yeah okay this is my mark one okay this is my mark two and my mark three i extend each of those points okay so taking this as my starting point here okay i'm going to pick one of the sector which is this okay yeah this one of the sector so from here i'm re replicating this 12 times okay 12 times all right so this is my mark 12 right here this is my mark 12 here this is my 12 mark here okay so it says making a b as the same if this is my a and this is my b so my same so which means this mark is what Mark. okay so to trace out our uh surface development for the cylinder making a b as the same so this junction i will name it as mark o one two three four five and what are mark six so on our line now this is what mark zero one two three four five six then zero one two three four five and the six is at the center here okay so our mark zero coming from here we're having zero here and what zero right here on mark one yeah this is mark one right here so one to one is here and one to one is what is here okay mark two this is it right here this is mark two to two and mark two to two here so mark three okay which is the highest mark there this is mark three right here and this is mark three right here highest mark there mark four so this is mark four right here and mark four right here mark five which is this this is mark five right here and mark five right here then mark six which is this this is mark what that's mark six so with my french curve i'm going to draw out uh the curves got in there the interpenetration curve got in from that uh area okay okay so that is the surface development for this cylinder and making our what our a b this a this b this a and what and b here making our a b as what as the same so let me display it for you here so that you can see okay so that is it that is the surface development there okay so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also the five to your friends who might be in need of it so remember we produce this drawing on a scale of one ratio two all right so my name remains Uluwa Tumbi blessing or lalekon the founder of michael tech thank you